Hot's foot. Fought two weeks ago at the Copper Box. Oh. There's Norbert Kuluksha, Hungarian, who actually made him, uh, exposed him a, a little bit with a few of those sneak right hands he was throwing. Oh. Well, there we go. Shot. Before, shot. before you can, before you can. Well, I don't think this is going too far. Another big body shot, and he'll be looking for more of the same. There he goes. Left hook, down for a second time. He can take his time now, he's got two minutes to go almost. To just getting in with a good right hand of his own, but you get the feeling that if there's another left hook right on the mark, oh, first time it's a right hook this time. Isn't he? Up until this point, when he, when he can stay on his feet long enough. Dear me. The stoppage, there was a lovely right hand to the chin. Celebrating his 30th birthday on Tuesday, did just That's a good right it. hand there from, from Boy Jones. That's his great shot, and looking for it, he's looking to put Singleton out with that. And there it is! Another terrific right hand. Here from Stephen, he's found the range and he's come to life. Get the impression that whatever happened before the fight, it kind of got to Bradley Skeet <laughs> a little bit. And we're seeing a different side to the gentlemanly persona which we often see. And surely this is the end now. The referee needs to get in there. He stopped it. Well, Singleton hates it because he'd actually managed to land a couple back. He threw back Singleton, saying he was unsteady on his legs. Look how many unanswered punches here. And that's where the referee's jumping in, just before he's full of fire back. I know he's there in slow motion there. It looks like the referee stood in. The old pass just not big enough to trouble him. Yeah, nice one two straight down the line there from Duffield. Oh. Another big right hand. <laughs> you hear that thud into the side of Parr's head here at ringside. And a terrific left lead as well. Well, it's almost target practice for Duffield, and every time he lands, he puts his man in trouble. And too many more of those, and the ref will surely be having a look because Parr has taken a lot of punishment in this opening three minutes. Staggers back onto the ropes, and it's all over, all over in the first round. Tanto jab, yo creo que tendría que soltar más jab para medir y no tanto golpes de poder. Y bueno, no, 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 no. Esto se puede acabar. Y ahí está, yendo hacia abajo el peleador tapatío. Cinco, seis, siete, ocho. Camina allí y camina aquí. Camina aquí. Hey, camina aquí. ¿Quieres seguir? Sí. Dame el guante. Bueno, le, lo, lo ve en buenas condiciones, pero yo no lo veo bien. Creo no. que falta un golpe más de Nico Valdés para, para derribar otra vez a Berrote, valiente Berrote. Es un, la parte donde fuerte es un trabajo. Miren cómo terminó hoy con esa mano izquierda en forma de gancho. Oh, that's our right, right. Oui. Oh, magnifique, avec son bras Magnifique, triplé du gauche. Allez, finis en bas, finis en bas. Oh, il a oh, vacillé. Oh, oh, magnifique. magnifique. Palais des sports. Une victoire avant la limite pour vraiment mettre euh, une touche finale. Ah, c'est une petite glace. Là, il est quand même compté. Mais là, effectivement...
отново пресира Закианов. Добър ляв прав сега на Гусман. Обаче веднага получава отговор от Закянов. Ста страхотни крушета и пада отново пада Гусман. Това изглежда вече, че това няма да може да стане. И това е края на тази среща. Нокаут. Да, где-то постоять рядом. Здорово оправдали Серков. Левый сдох у Дуратова на полу. Левый сдох у то, что нам было нужно. В Ростове. Еще раз сдох у Дуратова из Беня. Еще один нокдаун. на задней точке. Еще. Еще справа попадает. Все хорошо. Все правильно. Дуратова уже не так, не так отвечает. Хотя вот переходит в контрнаступление. Actually, uh, Diaz was much busier. Progre landed at a higher percentage of his shot. And there was a shot, and Diaz goes down. Two, three. At Progre. Progre trying to walk him down. Left hand of the body. And the left hand drops him. And Progre going to walk right to it. Left hand rocks Diaz again. It will not take a lot of the left hand. He down he goes again. It's so true. You don't know where the punches are coming from with Progre. And that's one of the reasons he's hurt. Diaz again and again. Oh. And down he goes for a fourth that's time. It. It. And that that's is it. It is over. A, a convincing a victory for Progre. He has every punch. And as you pointed out, I mean, his accuracy is pretty remarkable. That's a three-punch combination. All of them got there. Missed with the uppercut that time. Reyes, nothing if not game. Yeah. And because of Reyes' style, he's given Fernandez such an opportunity to throw a yeah. lot of punches. Boy, Fernandez can do this for several rounds. And After. down he goes, and that's it. Over. Just like that. Down, and then, bam, he went down. <laughs> you see? I got a chair, and then I'm sitting on the <laughs> Seriously? The chair's gone, yeah. Está tratando de mantener ese boxeo, pero el hijo le iba en el armado en el momento de la gestación, cuando aparece con el cross de derecha a fondo. Y vamos a ver si aprovecha el tiempo que le queda al boxeador Omar Platense, que hace cintura y vamos a ver si mete la réplica ante el error de Olivera, que nuevamente se va a la lona y la rea detiene las acciones. Victoria por nocaut técnico en la primera vuelta de Brian Leiva. Y ahí están las reiteraciones. Primero la derecha, cae sentadito y para mí nunca se recuperó de esa mano al mentón. Y luego la definición que lo va a tumbar nuevamente a Olivera. Vemos que el golpe de derecha no tuvo gran recorrido, pero igual lo tumbó por la precisión y la potencia. Después a lo largo de la carrera de la IVA veremos si, si es tanto el golpe.
derecha voladita que ha llegado a, a, la, a la cabeza del dominicano. Otra vez el, el gancho queda bastante desmadejado. Atención, terrible la derecha otra vez de, de Kerman. Sigue atacando el bosador vizcaíno que atisba la posibilidad de que pueda terminar la pelea antes del límite. Otra vez el, el Open, la derecha contundente. Interviene el árbitro. Indica el final de las hostilidades, la alegría. Jab there from Doyle off the back foot as he was just moving away to his right to work. This is where the corner has a part to play as well, doesn't it? Because it's getting hard in there for Doyle now, really, really hard. They've got to try and pick him up. And they've been thinking about that, I think, during the course of that previous round when they very first sat him down in the corner there. I did just wonder whether that was a conversation that they were having. And Really short with the right hand there, Watkins as Tins uses the ropes nicely. <laughs> Just let Tins off the ropes there. Watkins. Oh, right hand though, straight down the middle. And Tim's flat on his back and the referee immediately waves it off. He was straight in there, David Irving, waved his hands. And the ringside doctor is into the ring as well, just as it looked like. Yeah, straight through the middle. Look at the way it went down, it went down so heavily as well. It's never really been in question. And the right hand there immediately puts Victor Biscat down, who's taken this fight at short notice. Ten fights and... 10 wins, 7 by way of knockout, and I think he may have twisted his ankle there as well, and the referee has waved this off, there are some boos. Well, he's still hobbling around Biscac, he was followed up by a left hand, and he was right above us, and he just got the feeling that he wasn't he said, very Mich keen to Mich get back to his there. feet. When, when, if it had gone over his ankle straight away, it'd have, it'd, I'm, listen, he'd have been straight down, look at Puts that pressure back on. And he just landed a good body shot. Yeah, the body of Herrera. Yeah, there we go. Rails drops it. Tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. And that's it. 
That's exactly what I said. He needs to, he needs to hit that body in the later rounds, and he'll get the job done. You know, this last round, Brandon Rios put so much pressure, and then he, he followed with that left, uh, the right hook to the body, and that was, you know, it was perfect right on the money. Let's take a look at it again. Right hook to the body, got the job done. It's not terribly easy to get around the UK on a Friday afternoon. No, not with your money. That's good. Oh, lovely. Oh, there we go. A couple of solid headshots. And I don't think he wants any more. He's taking a knee. And he doesn't want any more. It's all over. A high type guard, but sometimes that, that blocks your vision. And McKenna patient in that shot lovely right through the gloves. The tunnel of couldn't see it come in. And, and the ones you don't see, and it doesn't look, in, it doesn't. up in September as Daniel Jacobs, Billy Joe Saunders, David Limio, Andy Lee, but here comes Arias and floors Magomedov in the fifth round and have we got a future Five, talent in six, front of our eyes. Seven, Magomedov eight, down me. Me and how eyes. much has he got left? The legs Show me something. stiff again and Luis Arias here with a right and a left, and the Good fight's going to be stopped. The towel's in as well, and it's a big win now for Milwaukee's Lewis Arias. Middleweight division, right. and Arias right there, is going to be part of it, isn't he, at some point? Yeah, yeah, he looks to be well on his way. There's a chopping right hand, a shot that he landed a few times through the, throughout the fight, and there he chopped it once, and he hurt him, and then he followed up with more chopping shots. With the 19-year-old Ortiz, who's 5-0. Five no, Tremendous not, work here against the ropes, and that's it. A first round okay. TKO okay. win. Okay. Just waiting to get taken out. He put his head on the guillotine block, knew that it was coming off, and he resigned himself to the execution. Nice work there from Bivol, the right hand, oh. put it up, and a wonderful blistering. Oh, a lot of punches, and he's going to go down here in the first round. <laughs> Again, looks for that big left hook over the top, and one from the other side. Stop. And he doesn't like it, Agnew, and neither does Russell Mora. It is all over. Like gold counter, so like, there it is right there. You see, there was one really going on. Moises was, was pu oh, pushing. Oh, that's wonderful up. uppercut as well, and a left hand after the bell. Oh, and down no, goes no, Flores. No, but is no, that no. right? Hang on a minute. Controversy here. With the uppercut behind it. And that is a foul. But that had nothing to do with the way the fight ended. Why are you focusing on this when he wasn't holding him behind the head when the well, lethal punch landed? Because when the final punch lands, which is the one that's in question, it's, there's no holding behind the head. No holding so what, there. what are you worried about the holding behind the head for? I think it's, he was about oh, to tell him off for the behind the... In a knockout, and the winner by knockout victory, and still the super champion, and now recognized as the all over WBA super bantamweight champion of the world, still undefeated, Guillermo El Chacari Gandau. They were celebrating team.
southpaw. And a right hand from oh, Andre him. Ward. Steal. Because few predicted Ward by knockout. But that might become reality. Kovalev is tottering and teetering on his feet. And there's 38 seconds in the round. Some of those shots are low, though. Some of those shots are low. It's Se libérer, tout simplement. Voilà, oh, voilà. percute magnifique qui a fait vaciller Travis Clark, le percute du gauche. Le on premier coup précis. On avait dit dans le coin, oui. Et là, Encore. il est touché en bas. À terre pour la première fois dès la deuxième reprise. Tout est parti d'un très bel hypercute. Le premier voyage au tapis de l'Américain. Ah, le percute du droit, magnifique. Il a dit dans le coin, mais le percute. Et il essaye de jouer la provoque. Travis Clark. Mais il a été touché. Oh, le percute du droit. Magnifique, Allez, ouais. il enchaîne. Et pour la deuxième fois dans ce round, Clark est compté. Et il va pas se relever. Ouais, il n'ira pas. Ouais. Non. Là, il va pas se relever. Ouais, il peut, il peut. Non. Ouais, non, non. Et on a même jeté l'éponge. Fight to even fight. It's been tough and a lovely start from Kelly. This could be really hard. Can he cope with Kelly's slick moves as they meet? As Greg Stephen uh, rightly said over eight oh, rounds. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Kelly stood right in front of Whitfield with his hands down, confident enough to, to think he can slip the shots to pick him off. He really wants to put a show on here. We've been very impressed with his agility, his movement, lead of foot so far. And trust me, as a fighter, you see a fighter do this in front of you, it's intimidating. It, it puts you under pressure without you even being hit. Oh. Nice jab turn into a left ball. Travelling up with a left hook here. And down One, goes Whitfield. Two, inside the first three, round. Four, and it was a hailstorm of punches seven, from Josh Kelly. Eight, the count said nine. Knocked out. What a win for Josh Kelly. Winning the world title the other week. He believes Josh Kelly is the best fighter he's ever trained. It's a long, long way to go. But I tell you what, that's some second knockout win. It's easy to see how maybe you could stick around a bit too long in such a organized, such a professional, such a tremendous setup. and enjoying living a normal life until the last few months not having to worry about weight that's always the thing that fighters talk about when uh, they're away from boxing or when they retire or when they have a spell out the the joys of not having to worry about every single thing that they eat blood coming from the nose of Casey Clark nice and the pressure. towel has come in the towel has come in and the referee having to drag Saunders off him I don't think he realized and Casey Blair is wondering what has happened here but it's the man sitting just a couple of rows behind us Lawrence Coley and he was one based as successor on GB at heavyweight at 91 kilos and based as putting in a good performance here so far. Again, just shot down the space there a bit, didn't he, as he came in with, with the left hand behind yeah, the jab? Without a doubt. And, and, and basically, again, he, he, he's messing his work up a little bit, but what he needs to do is just, just use his height, use his reach. The official time is one minute and nine seconds of round number two.
Referee stops the contest. The winner from Sunderland, Warren Baster. So Warren Baster gets... He might just be a punch or two away here. Anthony Fowler has the menace, the fight being punched out of Grosin. Certainly not looking as steady as he did in the previous session. That's and he's shot. in pain again, down for the second time. He does hit hard, and there's a long way to go. Second half, the red trunks of the damage now. Nicholas Grosin down a couple of times to body shots and Anthony Fowler has um, has been steady despite all the reports of the haphazard nature of his uh, amateur fights this is good and that will be it body shots doing the damage it's two out of two and there's the customary celebration from Anthony Fowler we used to see it in the amateur Son acumulativos y aunque se mantenga de pie es demasiado el castigo que recibe este muchacho. Esto no es show en el boxeo. Y ahí se va la lona, se cae el Pantera Aguilán, fin Miguel Román a soltar todos los cañonazos, a tratar de enviar los bazucazos y lo vuelve a depositar en la lona. Y ahora sí está lastimado Nery Aguilán, no se va a levantar para continuar el refe dice que la pelea se termina, el castigo fue acumulativo, el golpeo brutal de parte de Miki Román. guardia, eh, de ceñir bien la guardia el boxeador filipino después de atacar, levanta los brazos, hace ahí de repente cerrando bien la guardia, buscando que eh, no tenga orif orificios el Rocky Hernández para penetrar, pero es un boxeador muy versátil el mexicano, me gusta cantidad ah, de él, el gancho ascendente en esta ocasión, fue gancho al hígado y no va a resistir el conteo y en un round me parece que no se va a levantar el se filipino acabó. de efecto retardado, el gancho a la zona hepática. Tenía ciertas complicaciones, empezó a soltar las manos y vino después esta decisión ah, de tirar la oh. puñalada, el gancho al hígado. Certe Pero que ya hay bastante sangre ¿no? en el rostro. No, está recibiendo mucho Bedoya. Está recibiendo castigo, vamos a ver, resta un minuto para que finalice el segundo, la pelea impactada 10. Cuando salimos de, de aquí, que vamos a comer, ¿cómo se llaman las, 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 las tortitas que comemos? Las tortitas que comemos, ¿cuáles serán? Sí, las que las usas. ¡Oh, cuidado, que se va la lona! No, pues ya no tenés chiste. ¡Cuidado, que, que se va la lona! No, está mal. Luis... El monarca Bedoya le van a hacer el conteo, pero lo veo mal, mi querido sí, profe, dicen no más, señores. Y cual del vaquero Navarrete, y decíamos, bueno, eh, puede pasar cualquier cosa, pero la pelea se fue de un solo Exacto. lado. El récord no lo acompañó, la actuación de él no lo acompañó con el récord. Primer combate del día de hoy, entonces... La... Another right hand that clip. Mercado. And 
drops him. There's yeah. another right hand over the top. He's hurt. And Eric Dolly said that's oh. enough. We're talking about 26 landed as opposed to five for Fria. So Negrete dominating in that fashion. And once again, those power punches landing to the head. Now he throws it right to the body that drops. Sergio Fria. Volume, accuracy overcome, the lack of punching power. Big left hooks from Oscar Negrete here in round eight against Sergio Frias, who is willing. But he just has nothing behind his punches, as you mentioned, Antonio. No, it's going to end. We're going to stop this right now. That is the decision. Kad es prestižākās tomēr ir degradējušas, jo, nu, salīdzināt tik šķiepietā, ka Tony Stubbs, Tīms Vizarspuns. Nu, labi, beigās. Beigās, mēs nenoniecināsim arī Lenox Lewis. Lūk, arī ir knockdowns. Jā, Lenoks Lūjas jūs izbār aizmirs, kaut kā Lenoks Lūjas. Piemirs Lenoks Lūjas. Lenoks Lūjas jūs piemirs, jā, kurš... Tā, nu negribēs cīnīties Joshua Conleys. Principā, jā, cīņi veiktos tā, ka ar Viljām sātru uzvaru šajā raundā tas nebūtu pārsteigums. Seitais rounds mums tagad, jā, aizrīt. Viskas, ka negrib Conleys cīnīties. Nu, pašu sākumu. Viņš bija tāds, varbūt sabījies, varbūt nepārliecināts par sev. Vēl viens knockdowns. Nu, varam pieņemt. Varam nepieņemt, bet, nu, galvenais, ko mēs redzēsim pēc brīža.